I'm going to now quickly walk through the code for the back end of the web page demo, which is utilizing JavaScript and the NPM package Axios. Axios is a wrapper around XML HTTPS requests from the browser, allowing us for easier implementation. As Regina mentioned in the Postman demo, we can get a sample code snippet for how to make our REST API request through Axios to save us some time. In the case here, I've simplified it down for my own needs. Let's take a look at a few of these methods to find and how these are formatted in the backend. To start, we have a login method, which is going to simply make an Axios request providing a few parameters. We have the method for the request, in this case, a post method. We have the URL, which takes our base URL from MicroStrategy Library and appends API auth login. We're providing with credentials set to true, which ensures that the J session ID is always passed with the request. And finally, we have data of the request, in this case, our body, which represents the user login information, such as its username, password, and login mode. With all these, the Axios request is sent and a response is returned, which we will extract the headers and the XMSR auth token header. With this method, we can call it in code to store an XMSR auth token for use in other calls. Let's take a look at a few of these now. Here we have the users method, which will make an Axios request similar to the above. In this, we're providing similar parameters for method set to get, URL is using API users with credentials to make sure we are always passing the J session ID, and we're supplying the headers for the XMSTR auth token for the token we recently received. This will return us some data from this request, which will be user data. We have a few other methods, such as getting a specific user, and updating a user, you'll notice that with this, these are mostly the same request, just formatted differently. They all take an Axios request with a few parameters, changing the HTTP method to suit its needs. For update user, this would be patch. They also contain a URL for whichever endpoint we're connecting to, some headers, and some body information. With this, we're able to call these methods dynamically to get some information back on the users on the fly. The REST API is a powerful tool to allow you to pull information from your environment swiftly and dynamically. 